my life. I hardly remember my father hit me, but he couldn't control himself that day. I have sold his teaching in vain, dishonoring honesty and responsibility he has always wished on me. It was painful. No matter how harsh he can be on me, he still cares for me. That pain flew away. That day, I cried. He cried too. Days became weeks. Weeks became months. Months became years. And it passes very fast. Life is unfair, they said. At the age of 57, he was diagnosed with the disease. A disease not curable. A disease I would never wish anyone having. Not even a single person in this world. Not my father, for sure. My absence in the house made him inferior. I couldn't have imagined his loneliness, his suffering, his consciousness with the surroundings. I tried hard searching for him everywhere, just like how he tried hard searching for his lost soul. His condition got worse, he can't even remember. His own son. I have decided to send him to an old folks home. I had never imagined that it would have to come to this in any point of my life. But I have no choice. The choice I made might have hurt him unimaginably, but if safety was my priority at that moment. Thinking back, I do have a choice, I guess. I own everything that my father and I have dreamt of all these years. But how could my father not be part of all my success? I have never ever raised my voice against my father. Witnessing and listening to someone doing it at home shattered my heart into pieces. In the midst of his sickness, he still struggles his mind just to leave me a note. It makes me wonder, am I worth this much love from you, Father? It breaks me hard, unbearably hard. Forgive me, Father. You are my choice. <laughs>